Hello, my name is Porter Nelson with Random R Tech, and this is an introductionary video to the mini series How to Make a Mini Game in Unity. So, everything you see here, we're going to be covering in a five course series um, how to shoot a bow, how to aim, how to, uh, I guess I'm not teaching you how to shoot a bow, how to make a bow and arrow that shoots, and trees, mountains, and blender, going to create those and export those into Unity. Uh, a GUI system that is adaptive, so as you hit the different targets, <laughs> speaking of hitting targets, I can't hit that one right there, apparently. Um, it's going to show up, so as you see right here, bloop, you can see that it actually shows the score on the target. And so we're going to be covering this. Now, something really cool about these, these tutorial series is I actually give you assignments at the end to try what I've taught you and expand those. I will then show a video showing how I did that, so you can compare and contrast how you would have approached it compared to how I would have approached it. I wish more and more different tutorials did this so that I could see um, what I'm doing right and kind of see what I'm doing the hard way and also compare what I think I'm actually doing the correct way compared to how other people might approach it. Um, it, it gives you a sense of creativity, a sense of freedom, and it really does help the lessons uh, feel like your own. So let's go ahead and go over the different parts of the series. So the first part is working with Blender and Unity. We're going to be creating objects in Blender and exporting them to Unity. Nothing too hard here, uh, but if you are new to Blender, a lot of really good useful tips that we're going to cover. The next part is prefab creation and scene setup. We're going to be creating prefabs, adding box colliders, mesh colliders, uh, rigid bodies, things like that. And then we're also going to set up the scene by placing objects, uh, talking about pivot points a little bit, and snapping options. The third is the aim and shoot script. Basically, we're going to aim. Uh, how to rotate uh, the transformation and the rigid body and talk about inputs and then also create a shooting script. The fourth is going to be the projectile physics. We're going to add force to the arrow. Uh, second topic is actually having the arrow arc using trigonometry. That is a really cool topic. And the third is embedding objects on collision. The fifth part is basically polish, adding sound and GUI elements. How to implement sound, loop and music, audio listeners, triggers, um, talking about displaying score, and the coolest thing is animated GUIs, how to actually get the score to appear as I hit it on the target. So I look forward to uh, working with you for the next couple weeks. I hope that you enjoy it, but understand I am not perfect at coding. There is 500 different ways that people are going to approach these things. If you have a different way that you like, uh, let me know about it. If I'm doing something way harder than I have to, let me know about it because just like you, I'm also learning along this way. It's, it's, a good, it's a good series. There's a lot to be learned and I look forward to working with you. Now, on one last note, I would strongly, strongly encourage you to do the homework section because nowhere else on the internet have I found that um, a video tutorial offers a task to try and then later gives a video of how the author would have approached that task. Usually it's just, create this thing exactly the way I created it, and that's it. So I would strongly encourage you to try and use this for what it is. If you like this video's tutorial series, go ahead and add, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you don't like it, that's perfectly understandable too. Thank you so much for your time. Look forward to working with you.